What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trick your iPhone out. Here's the iPhone 17 edition of the Beginner's Guide to Nugget. With Nugget, you can do some seriously awesome stuff and trick your iPhone out. And it even works on iOS 26 and the brand new iPhone 17 and iPhone Air. Get the new liquid glass design and still use all of your favorite poster board customizations. To celebrate the release of the new iPhones, there's even a few new features in Nugget to check out. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. Let's talk about device requirements in order to use this. You'll need an iPhone or an iOS device on at least iOS 17.0 or later. You'll also need a computer for now, as Nugget needs a computer for most of these features for now. There's now also a way to get the incredible wallpapers you see on device without a computer. More on that a little bit later. You can use Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the process is fairly similar on whatever OS you're using. Today, I'm gonna use Mac for this guide. Although this process is generally pretty safe, it's always a good idea to make sure before doing anything like this that you have a backup of your device. If you're on Mac, download Nugget for Mac OS. If you have a newer Mac that's made after 2020, you'll likely have an M ARM based Mac. If it's older than that, it's most likely Intel. Download it for your compatible Mac. Open the .dmg you downloaded and once it's mounted, move Nugget over to the Applications folder. Make sure Find My iPhone is turned off in Settings. Don't worry, you can turn it back on after this process. Now just go ahead and open Nugget and then from here you should be good to go. Connecting the device. After you plug your device into your computer, you may need to trust it and click the reload button in Nugget. Then your device will show up. When applying customizations to your device, do not unplug it while it's applying. You will boot loop your device if you don't let Nugget do its thing. With that being said, there's a ton of awesome stuff you can do here, so let's get started. New Nugget Features not only does Nugget fully support iOS 26 and the new iPhone 17 series phones, but check out this new feature. These new wallpapers aren't just interactive, they're reactive, meaning they actually react when you tilt your device, which is amazing. Now, in order for these new wallpapers to work correctly, the device needs to be on at least iOS 26 for right now, and that's because there's an API that these wallpapers use that was introduced in iOS 26. These wallpapers look beautiful on the brand new iPhone 17 Pro Max and the iPhone Air. This kind of wallpaper is brand new with there only being a handful of ones to choose from. It'll take a little bit more time for developers to put out more 3D gyroscope wallpapers, but definitely keep checking back. This is an iPadOS exclusive feature where if you swipe down on the keyboard, it'll give you alternate characters like numbers, punctuation, and more. This is a great feature and it's awesome to have this on iPhone. Unfortunately though, with this enabled, swipe to text does not work. If you're not a fan of any of these features for whatever reason, it's easy to turn it off. Just go back into Nugget Desktop and under the apply settings, select select remove tweaks and then select the internal options. After your device restarts, your keyboard should be back to normal. Poster board, the coolest wallpaper feature since sliced bread. It works on the latest iOS version and the latest iPhone. In iOS 26, Apple added the ability to set a spatial scene as your lock screen wallpaper. Apple's built-in spatial scene feature is pretty cool and it's part of what makes the reactive wallpapers possible that I showed earlier. However, as you're seeing throughout this video, Nugget wallpapers are simply different. These wallpapers are dynamic, interactive, and reactive. If any of what I'm showing you piques your interest, there's two ways to get these awesome wallpapers. Inside of the Nugget desktop application, the first thing we see is the poster board section. If we click on discover wallpapers, that will bring you to a page where you can see a curated list of some of the awesome wallpapers that are currently available. This list is constantly changing as more developers and designers create more wallpapers. There's also a Discord server you can join and I'll throw that in the description and that has a bunch of wallpapers as well. In the poster board settings, there's also a video option as well, where you can make any video your wallpaper. Select all of the .tendies wallpapers that you downloaded, and then once you do that, you'll be ready to go. Then once you're ready, click the apply changes button. And now the device will reboot and do its magic in the background. 
Once the phone restarts, tap and hold on your lock screen wallpaper, and then from there, tap the plus icon. And once we do that, you can see in the collections section, the wallpapers that we just added are right there. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. ESR is the number one MagSafe accessory brand that offers high quality MagSafe cases, chargers, and much more. For example, for my iPhone 17 Pro Max, I've been using their classic hybrid magnetic case as well as their CyberTough magnetic case. Both cases have a nice convenient kickstand that flips out near the cameras, so if you want to watch YouTube or Netflix or anything, that is a great way to do so. If something more rugged is your vibe, check out the CyberTough magnetic case. Both cases feel durable and premium, and that's thanks to ESR's military-grade protection. The camera control button also works through the case as well. ESR's Amorite Screen Protector Series is also really good as well, and the install is super easy. It literally takes 30 seconds. First, clean your device off with a microfiber cloth. They have one included in case you don't have one. Place the device face down in the holder and then close the holder. Then just pull that pull tab all the way out, Firmly press down. After that, open the holder and take your device out. And then just go ahead and peel off that plastic film. And there you go. The screen protector is now installed nice and easy. In addition to MagSafe accessories, they also have a wallet as well that has built-in Find My. In addition to being Find My compatible, it also has RFID blocking. If you have a habit of losing stuff, this is a great wallet to have. If you want to pick up a MagSafe case or an accessory for your iPhone, you can get 25% off your purchase with the discount code at checkout. Special thanks to ESR for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. Incredible wallpapers on the go without a computer. With this app, you can get the incredible dynamic wallpapers you've seen without a computer. Okay, technically you'll need your computer one time to go into the Nugget desktop app and then click one button button and you're good to go. Check out my dedicated video I made if you're interested in the app method and you want to see how to set it up. Inside the app, if you tap the explore tab, you can scroll through a bunch of different wallpapers. There's a huge variety of wallpapers available already. However, definitely keep checking back because developers put out new wallpapers all the time. Once you find a few that you like, go ahead and tap the download button. It'll download the corresponding tendies file. You can do this with a bunch of different wallpapers that interest you. So I'm gonna scroll through and pick another one and download it. And this is the nice thing about how easy this is. I'm gonna download one more. Going to the home tab, here's all of the tendies files that I selected. And whenever I'm ready, I can go ahead and tap the apply button. And it says success. The poster board app will now open. Please close it from the app switcher. So now just swipe up and close out of the poster board app. Now scrolling through collections to add a new wallpaper and there you go. There's all of our wallpapers that we just added and it was that easy. With the app, you can also add video wallpapers directly on your device through your camera roll. And because you can select any video from your camera roll, you can get pretty creative in terms of what you come up with. Again, check out the video I made about the dedicated app to find out more about this. I'm going to make a top interactive wallpapers video at some point soon, so make sure to stay tuned. And again, it works on iOS 26 and on the new iPhones. Templates. Developers can also create templates for wallpapers as well. These are .batter files, and these are better for the user, since the user can customize specific options for the wallpaper. In this one, for example, I have more control over which versions of the wallpaper I want. You can see in this collection, there's winter, fall, spring, and summer, all of the seasons here, and I can toggle on and off different versions of the wallpaper that I want. This one gives me a spatial photo-like effect, and it lets me customize the image that I want. There's also other aspects of the wallpaper I can customize, and it really gives you granular control over certain specific things that you would not be able to change with just regular attendees files. Tapping the plus icon and scrolling down to collections, you can see there is the template that I customized. In the future, the on-device method should support templates as well. Status bar. The status bar option allows you to customize parts of your status bar. I can change the carrier text, so instead of it saying Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever, I can fully customize it and have it say Apple Attack. 
Again, there's a bunch of other options in here for you to customize. Once you're ready, click the apply changes button and then it will go ahead and apply the changes to your device. Now going to our control center, you can see the carrier name is Apple Attack. That's pretty cool. Depending on what iOS version you're on, you may be able to do just a little bit more with Nugget. This device is on iOS 17.0. Mobile gift stall. If you're on iOS 18.1.x and below, when connecting your device, an option called mobile gift stall will appear inside of Nugget. This can enable things like Always On Display and Dynamic Island on older, unsupported devices. And also, of course, before anyone asks, Mobile Gift Stall does not work on iOS 18.2 and up, it was patched. So enabling things like Always On Display and Dynamic Island is no longer possible on newer iOS versions as of right now. If you're on a compatible iOS version, check out the original video I made about Nugget where I go into more detail about Mobile Gift Stall. I also show you how to save the Mobile Gift Stall file, which you'll need to use every time you want to customize something in Mobile Gift Stall. Miscellaneous. There's a bunch of options to customize your device even further. In the springboard section, you have some pretty cool things like being able to customize the lock screen footnote text. After you type what you want it to say and apply the changes, you'll see when your device comes back, there it is. You can enable the iPad keyboard flick that I showed you guys earlier by checking enable keyboard character flick in the internal section. Be careful though with other settings, especially if you're not sure what they do. The daemons feature here for regular users doesn't really do all that much. It lets you disable things and turn functions on and off. However, the disable OTA option could be useful because that will disable OTA updates on your device. There's also a couple of extra features in the settings here like enabling supervision, which is what's required when delay OTAing your device, and allow applying over Wi-Fi and other things as the well. The pocket poster helper button is also in the settings here too, and that enables the use of the app. As I showed you already, the app is awesome and it's definitely worth it to enable it. Clearing collections and removing all tweaks. If you want to get access to new wallpapers or completely uninstall all of the wallpapers you downloaded, Go into the poster board section inside of Nugget and make sure under clear action you have collection selected. Then click apply changes and the device will restart. When the device restarts you may still see your custom wallpapers. This is by design because what it's doing is clearing out the wallpaper collection section and not actually clearing out the custom wallpapers that you added. This way, by repeating the step, you can install as many custom wallpapers as you want. So how do you delete these wallpapers? Well, all you have to do is just make sure that the wallpaper that you don't want is deleted in the carousel of the wallpapers that you have. And it's pretty easy to do that. Just swipe up on the wallpaper you don't want and tap the trash icon. You can also reset and clear collections on device as well. In the pocket poster app, just tap clear collections and then tap okay. From there, the app should now automatically reset your collection section to default. And once it refreshes, you could see the collection section is now back to how it was before we use Nugget. If you want to get rid of any other tweaks that Nugget added, go back to Nugget Desktop and make sure you click the Remove Tweaks button. You can go in and select what specific pages you would like to reset. So for example, I'm going to select the status bar and internal options. I'll go ahead and apply that. And then once our device restarts, you can see those changes have been reverted. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. That was the iPhone 17 edition of the Beginner's Guide to Nugget. If you enjoyed today's video and it helped you out at all, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.